Hello, welcome to Bohemian Guitars and Ukuleles. I thought I would show you how I make a bridge. I've already cut the saddle slide, I've done a video on that before, so I don't need to do it again. Um, pencil. I'm going to use some gadgets. Um, first thing I do is measure the saddle slot to get a center line. Sometimes it's slightly different than you know, I, I route. Sometimes I route the saddle slot slightly off center, which is fine. Then I use the same tool. on the 14th fret and uh, get the width I come in about halfway here which is usually about a quarter of an inch and I just score that a little bit and that's going to get sanded away get the two outside points my other gadget four pointer gadget mark that. And now we have the string holes. Now we go over and half drill these. Now I'm just going to drill the holes just halfway through. This is this um, little drill press. Um, I just have the string holes, some counter bores, and also this polisher. And it's just a dedicated drill press just for doing bridges. And you don't want to go all the way through at this stage. Or before you glue the bridge on because the glue um, comes up through the holes and sticks to your calls. So I'm just going to sand the wings and uh, shape it a little bit. was a rectangle now it's that and I've left the middle um, and these are about two a little bit over two mil um, I've still got a radius the underside to match the 28 foot radius of the um, top
so that is the back radius so now it's like that now I'm just going to shape the wing the wing uh, I'm going to change this right angle and I'm going to bring it in a little bit on this side see if you can guess why I'll do one side and then you can see why I'll give you a bit more time I don't bother measuring these um, if they look right then they are right so the reason why I radius, sorry, the reason why I taper the ends Hello Willow The reason why I taper the ends is so that this edge doesn't ride up or ride along a grain line and uh, Because if this is riding right along the grain line, there's more chance of it cracking along the grain line. So now I'm just going to clean it up with uh, sandpaper in a block. Um, the so I've left. this edge reasonably uniform around the perimeter and uh, then I'll just keep that same consistency when I sand it down but I won't bother showing you uh, that actually there is one more thing I'll show you you can do it's probably best to do it after this kind of more final sand final shape it um, I'm just shimming this so um, this is coming down at a more of a right angle because if it's coming down here it'll dig in this side more a little more but I'll, I'll redo this whole thing after I final sand it. Um, another thing I'll do is to put string ramps in but I'll do that after I sand it. Okay, I've sanded to 600. Now I'm just putting on some wax. Sometimes I use um, Renaissance wax. Sometimes this stuff. Um, whatever is closest. They did the same thing, so it doesn't matter.
Okay, so I've sanded it to 600 and then I'm going to polish it. So that is ready to be glued on now.